Good morning, I am in Southampton. It is currently my last day before I leave the sort of south coast area. So I felt like just for myself, I'm gonna give myself one last day of just visiting a few stations on a couple of lines. So I'm currently in Southampton and we are gonna get on a Great Western Railway service to head on the sort of Romsey Salisbury line area and maybe some surrounding stations there. I don't even know which stations exactly I'm gonna visit, but we're gonna do a couple and it should be pretty fun and chill. Let's do it. So it's gonna be a Great Western service to Cardiff Central, so I'll have to find wherever that will be departing from. Never mind, I was wrong. What I meant was the South Western Railway service to Salisbury. That's what I actually wanted to get. Right then, here we are. Splendid. Let's, um... Let's go. <laughs> I think I've come to the conclusion that the Southwestern 158s are probably my favourite 158s on the network. There's something about them, they're really nice and they're really comfy as well. Millbrook, Redbridge, Romsey, Mottisbot and Dunbridge. Redbridge? I thought that was a tube station. So at the station I'd like to go to first, the only way to cross platforms is by going over a level crossing. But the this train coming in and the next train going out the other way are meant to be six minutes apart. And I'm not sure if that'll be enough time for me to get over the level crossing. So at the next station, I'll be spending either six minutes or 60 minutes there. We'll find out. Okay, so the first station we are visiting Dean, oh, and the level crossing's opening. All right, go, 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 now. <laughs> All right, we're on the other platform, brilliant. We've saved like an hour now, <laughs> great. So why specifically have I come to Dean first of all stations? Well, I think Dean is pretty cool in the fact that it's, I think the only station I can really think of that's like almost perfectly bisected by a county border. It's both in Wiltshire and Hampshire at the same time. When I'm stood back there, I'm in Wiltshire, but if I'm walking down the platform now, at around where the two-car stop marker is, is the Hampshire side of the station. So that's why I thought Dean would be pretty cool. It's a station that's basically bisected by a county border. Oh God, my camera's already getting soaked, but the train's there, so uh, let's, let's move on. Cool. So next up, I think we're going to go to Mottisfont and Dunbridge, another very rural-ish kind of station. Right, they're only uh, one stop apart, so it's not going to be very long until we get there. Well, here we are at uh, Mottisfont and Dunbridge, and both of these stations so far that I've been to seem to have sort of X network southeast way out signs is what they look like anyway. Yeah, this is very uh, X network southeast looking. So we have about 40 minutes here as opposed to six minutes like we did before. So we can have a bit of a bit of a walk around. We can have a look. Interesting, that is the first freight train I've seen down here all week. Anyway, yes, brief walk up. Lover Crossing's coming down already. I thought, I thought GWR doesn't call here. Maybe it only does on request, I don't know. So as far as I'm aware with it being Mottisfont and Dunbridge, this area is Dunbridge, Mottis Font is over the other way, I believe. Oh no, we're losing pavement and it's very muddy at the side. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue on past here. I think I'll just leave it here. And this is in fact Dunbridge. It's very pretty, it's very pretty. I like this place. Are you able to go down here? Or is this private land? I'm not too sure. If there's uncertainty, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> 
So there's a bus stop here, but it seems to be that uh, yeah, from the 31st of March 2023, bus service will cease. That's a shame, big shame. Uh, a disused bus stop, yeah. Not quite the same welly as a disused station, but still, <laughs> it's interesting, it's interesting. So, the next train out of here um, goes to Salisbury, terminates there. But I've already been to Salisbury, so um, we'll go to Salisbury and then we'll probably find another service going out to a few more stations. We'll just take a peek. So I've been looking at my phone for some timetables and some wait times at stations, and I think Temple Coombe could be a fair shout. So I think we'll head to Temple Coombe next. This train has the uh, South Western Railway exterior, but the South West Trains interior. Nice. Anyway, we're going to go take this train to Salisbury, and then once we're at Salisbury, we'll wait for the service to Exeter St David's, and then we'll go to Temple Coombe, that's what it was, yeah. It's interesting that the departure boards say that the trains are to Chandler's Ford. No, it's not actually Chandler's Ford, it's after Romsey, it's a loop, it's a loop line. But I guess they just say Chandler's Ford to avoid confusion with where the train's actually going. If they were to take it to what the train's literal destination is, every platform would say Salisbury, which would just be confusing. You leave the train, thank you for travelling with Southwest. Right, well here we are at Salisbury, so um, yes, not really much to do here apart from wait for the SWR Exeter St David's service. So since when I was last talking and now, it's been about 25 minutes, I, uh, since then I've popped into Salisbury to just get a bit of food, but that's about it. So the Exeter St David's service is in about 5 minutes and um, that would probably be it now, yeah, 12.47. Um, I've got to come to this end of the platform because the, th the front three coaches split off here to go forwards, so yeah, got to be here. All right, very nice. Let's go to Temple Coombe. So once we get to Temple Coombe, there is a, about a 15 minute wait there until the train that goes back. So I think we'll go maybe like one stop to Gillingham, maybe check out Gillingham. And I'll probably maybe end it there, we'll, we'll see. Oh my word, it's left Sherbourne 35 minutes late. All right, well that's the uh, next Exeter service after the one I got in here. Really watching chaos unfold here. It's just nice to do some you know, just visiting some stations with not really much of a plan, just sort of taking it as it comes. Yeah, I honestly, I, I dig this, I dig this, it's good. Anyway, our um, arrival time is in one minute and we are slowing down, so I have a feeling we're probably near Temple Coombe. Confirmation, there we are, we're near Temple Coombe. <laughs> I feel like the wind's picked up a bit, but yeah, it's got a really cool looking decorated platform here. It's very nice. The platform's not in like actual passenger use, but yeah, it's, it's very nice looking. I like it. Well, we've got about 15 minutes to kill here. Um, I would have gone onto the uh, other platform, but unfortunately it's blocked off. It's like padlocked and everything. It's a slight shame. They should allow you one there, but oh well, we'll just... Uh, Head into the general vicinity. Now that I'm amongst all these houses, they're sort of acting as a nice little windbreak. There's no wind down here. Yeah, definitely ain't bad. I like this. I think I made a good choice coming here. Anyway, that's a little taster of Temple Coombe. I'll uh, head back to the station now, don't want to miss the train going out. 
Oh, oh dear. It's uh, delayed. It's not even left Yeovil Junction yet. Oh dear. Well, if it's not left Yeovil yet, then it's not going to be here for at least another 15 minutes, so... Let's go back out. Let's go the other way. <laughs> so this is what is found outside the uh, other side of the station, if you go out the other way. Right, I've come to the end of the road. I've just checked my phone again, and it seems to have finally left Yeovil 20 minutes late. So we're going to turn around now and go back. <laughs> All right, we're back at the station, again, for real this time, and we'll get the train out and head back the other way. So apparently the fault that's been going on is a fault with signalling around Sherborne, and I know I said I'd probably maybe go to like Gillingham and stuff, but I, I don't want to end up stuck on this line for longer than I need to, because apparently disruption's expected for something like three hours. Oh my word, it's left Sherborne 35 minutes late. God, get me out, please. I don't want to be stuck here. Okay, well, there's a train down there approaching the station, but there's also train headlights down there, and this is a single line. What is happening? <laughs> All right, well, that's the uh, next Exeter service after the one I got in here. So I'm guessing that's going to go in, go to the other tracks, and then the... Waterloo train will come back in this way, yeah. Yeah, so this train can't leave because that's stuck at a red signal because of that train back there and... Yeah, <laughs> really watching chaos unfold here. <sighs> Finally, 45 minutes late, here it comes. After what was supposed to be a 15 minute stay here, which has now been an hour's stay here, you can finally escape Temple Coombe. Now I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to go all the way to Salisbury. I don't want to be hanging around in an area with a signalling fault and everything, because God forbid anything else happens, so... Yeah, I think that will do it for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. These things happen every now and again, can't really avoid them, so... Oh well. But anyway, uh, that just happened, so thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel. You're great. <laughs>